What's going on, everybody? So today we are back with some more promo codes. Now, it's actually funny because someone dropped these codes um, in my previous video, Walshi, and thank you for that, but they don't actually show up in the Eternal Evolution Discord. So if you're looking for the codes there, you're not gonna find them, but hopefully these codes um, are gonna be useful for you all. So first off, we have the one that we've already used. Um, this is gonna be the first one. I will leave a link to these, or I'll put them in the description down below if you guys want to see them. This one I've already claimed. We have the second one. They're all basically the same one, except uh, with different variations of the four and nine. This is the second one giving us a couple more dies. This is actually a pretty big deal um, because some of these can be quite expensive. So we got a green die and a pink die. What's the next one? Another pink die and a yellow die. And then we've got the next code here, which is gonna give you another pink die and a blue die and a yellow die. And then the last code, a another pink die, which is actually massive, by the way, guys. Um, this is actually gonna change my calculations because in total, <clears throat> we got four pink dies, I believe. I think it's four, correct me if I'm wrong, but that actually should be factored into our calculations today. And that's the other thing I wanna go over today is the skin. So I made the video yesterday talking about the Easter eggs um, and how it could be a lot of you know tokens. It looks like we got five pink dies actually. And that's kind of a big deal for a lot of people, right? Is that um, you need to get a lot of dies and it's very expensive to get that G mutation crystal too. And I think it's out of reach for a decent amount of people. However, the skin is much, much, much more reasonable and it's about a third the price. And I'll show you all of what I mean here. But a lot of you asked for me to go over the skin and see how expensive it was because you wanted to see if it's worth going for. Again, if you guys are interested in picking up the skin or even picking up like a Rickert copy, you should definitely be buying all these 50% off dies every single day because you're still going to need a little bit of them um, and definitely going to help you throughout your process. Post recording Veil coming back to give you guys another piece of information. I'm inserting this right in between when we're talking about the dies and such. Um, these tokens right here that speed up the process look to be potentially extremely necessary. Um, according to some of the comments that you guys have posted, the third egg is 30 hours um, and then the fourth egg is four days. I don't know if this is confirmed. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, you can see I have not done them um, yet. I'm actually gonna start today because I'm a little worried at this point. Um, and actually, let me just, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and buy um, a blue die so that I can see what I'm getting in for. So the first one takes about an hour. That's pretty easy, uh, but you know, I assume it accelerates a ton, a ton of time. So you're going to want to make sure you're starting on this as soon as possible. And then also I recommend picking up the accelerators that are discounted in the shop. Obviously you could still buy them later on, but they're going to be double the price. So I recommend that you pick up these now, just in case um, it does end up taking forever. Another thing I want to mention before we dive into the calculations is I actually forgot, um, or I rather did not see the Easter egg tokens on the right hand side. I don't know what was happening with me yesterday. I was kind of grinding it out. Um, it was a little later, so uh, my bad for missing that. So I want to give you guys the correct number here. It didn't really change much. It shaved about 6K. I think it was like actually 10K diamonds off the total price. Uh, but I calculated for about 10 per day, assuming you're gonna get it about 50 to 200. I assume most of you that are watching this video uh, are around that point is around 51 to 200 in your respective server. I was able to get to 21 to 50. It's kind of what I'm sitting at. So i um, pretty happy about that. But without further ado, let's hop over to the spreadsheet yet again and talk about these skins. So I have it right here. Um, I've updated the token amount. Here is the new updated amount. And in fact, if we include the pink dies, which you can see here, we need seven of them. Um, let's say we get five of them. So now we need two left. You can see with the codes that we're acquiring, we can also, we've, I think we've also acquired um, like two blue dies. Let me just factor that in. We've acquired, um, I think it was two yellow dies. Um, I'm not gonna put two, I'm gonna put one because I don't know, I remember if we got two or one and we got two green dice. So with the promo codes included, that is the updated price, 121,000 diamonds for the G Mutation Crystal 2. And then for the um, 
basically all the other options that we've gotten uh actually we don't need to purchase any pink dies because we got those for free um so assuming we use zero tokens there we can actually use the tokens somewhere else um which means that since we've also gotten two green dies we only need to purchase one of those are actually zero because we can use our tokens here and then actually the remainder of tokens could be used to spend on these um what's it called the uh whoops blue and uh, yellow dice that's what i was trying to talk about geez i was thinking about that for a little while <laughs> um so we now we could use those tokens on the blue and yellow dice which basically means that we don't really have much to spend on in fact we can reduce these down uh, potentially to close to zero if not zero so the total cost is going to be around thirty-five thousand. this is not perfect by the way um I, I this is not perfect calculations including all the promo codes but i did do a better estimate of it and i'll say that for all of these by the way these are just reasonable estimates you could expect to spend something near this keep in mind that i'm always including the discounted diamond costs in the shops um when you're you know figuring this out but the cost to pick up the skin is around thirty-five thousand um diamonds which is not that bad honestly it's not that bad and of course if we get more promo codes down the line then this will help out a ton but that's pretty good for overall value in terms of what you're getting because you're not just getting the skin by the way you're also getting everything that comes before the skin on top of that so if i were to just pull up the uh, easter egg painter go into the shop or not the shop but the eggs here man this is annoying <laughs> uh, we got 10 limited cards looks like 20 limited cards plus 12 that's going to be what 32 limited cards plus another 12 that's uh 44 limited cards plus a record copy um plus the ravenna skin plus 30 gene hybrid shards and all the soul rublite and 20 red runes so it's definitely valuable um and i would say that it's definitely on par with the value in terms of rise of heroes uh it really depends on how much you value the skin i guess um if you compare it to the rise of heroes i definitely recommend going for rise of heroes but honestly if you're playing every day and you have a little bit of a stockpile already you should be able to dump all your diamonds into rise of heroes and the easter egg painter if you're still looking for that gene hybrid 2 or uh, the gene mutation crystal 2 i definitely recommend you just save all your diamonds for this it's still really worth it and honestly i'm definitely gonna go for it myself um i'm gonna have to figure out whether or not i want to spend any more diamonds in the rise of heroes because well i'm not quite sure that the value of some of the rewards that you get later on in these stages or even worthwhile uh, to go for compared to that G Mutation Crystal 2. Again, yes, I could get a lot of resources from this game mode. And just to show you all kind of what I mean, if we go to the raffle shop, you could see a lot of the prize pools here. Um, we have some limited cards, we have some stamina, we have some diamonds back. Uh, again, gene hybrid shards, more gene hybrid shards. But if you continuously spend all your diamonds every single day, you're gonna reach around 16 to 20. And when you get to this point, honestly, the rewards are far inferior, uh, right? I don't care about yellow runes. I don't care about purple runes. These two, I have plenty of. Stamina, yes, still useful. Diamonds, obviously, you're just getting diamonds back. But everything else in here, useless. I don't need gear. Uh, XP, I don't need fodder, I don't need commander XP, I don't need prototype XP, all of this stuff is worthless. So the only things that are worthwhile are the gene hybrid shards, um, of course, and then the limited cards, and then the mega jackpot, right, if you need more evolutions. So realistically, guys, if you're going to compare and you're with, whether uh, to try to determine whether or not you want to save all your diamonds for um, the egg or going for the rise of heroes, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you just forget about the Rise of Heroes. It's not nearly as good as people say it is. It is definitely one of the best ways to spend your diamonds in the game um, in terms of, you know, when the events come around. But if you compare it to a G Mutation Crystal 2, even though it's far, far more expensive to get the G Mutation Crystal 2, I definitely would recommend going for it. And I myself am going to be going for it, although I usually have a large stockpile of resources just sitting around ready to go. So that's going to be that, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new promo codes. I want to go ahead and do a video on grinding out the Easter Day battle events. We'll see if uh, if I want to go ahead and do that because you have to do go ahead, do get the achievement points, uh, which is pretty important. And wow, that was a, that was a wordy statement. <laughs> uh, but you have to go ahead and get these achievement points, which can be a little tough, right? Like you need um, 
I think it's 5 million points. Um, or maybe it's not. Yeah, for each 5,000 highest points recorded. Yeah, so 5 million can be a little bit tough. And I'll show you all how I've gotten that so far. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all for the next one.